Hey everybody, it's Comp Tip Tuesday. And today we're talking about retiming cameras. And if you have been comping for a number of years, you will probably know how to do this. Uh, but there has been quite some confusion uh, just because the foundry hasn't made it easy to just kind of link your retime to the camera. Um, but there is just, there are a number of ways to do it. There are external gizmos for it that you can download off Nukopedia. There's huge lines of code that you can uh, you can put in the nuke scripts and it runs and then suddenly your camera is, uh, is retimed. Uh, but there is a very simple way to do this and not everyone knows this. Maybe, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, yeah, probably a lot of you do know this, but you know, you can, they can all be bangers, you know? <laughs> We've got a shot here of a horse running down the down street, of course. You can see it's definitely recorded in Mexico because it has the yellow filter over it, as, as that's how it works, I believe. If you cross the border from America to Mexico, suddenly everything is yellow. And um, yeah, we got the shot here. And sometimes it happens where, uh, <laughs> where, where your boss says, no, no, no. Don't worry, that the edit is locked. That is a lie. They can just open that edit edit up anytime they want, and they will change the the edit. And suddenly your your shot has to be, I don't know, some so many frames longer, so many frames shorter, or it, it just it's it has a speed ramp all of a sudden. So that happens sometimes, uh, and sometimes you've done a whole bunch of work on the shot. So I've got a simple setup here. But let's just say that you've got a, 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 a like a like a 200 node shot here, and there's CG in it in the background. There is a whole bunch of paintwork with three with cameras. You know, you don't want to just start over. And and this, so what you could do is you could you could maybe you could like uh, just have the comp and have like a Kronos node at the end here, and that would you know that would fix fix it but that would mean that suddenly your 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 uh cg all your work is also chronos it's also speed ramped that is no bueno because chronos has some side effects it can first of all it will it will make stuff quite soft it can create artifacts and it's just not done it's just not the way to do it um it just it, if you work at a, a bigger studio they will it's not going to work. So usually, usually they will ask you to maybe retime the camera and then re-render it out to 3D so they can so they can re-render their uh, uh, their 3D with the new camera. So it doesn't have any of the Chronos softness and everything on it. Um, so that's really a way you don't want to do it. You might get away with it on some sh some shots, but it's just good practice to do your Chronos first at the beginning of the shot, even if you've already done all of your work, that will now basically become worthless, uh, unless you can retime the camera in a creative and easy way, which we can, and I will show you. So I have painted away some stuff here, just just so I had something in my scene to show that show you that it works. I, I, I painted away the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The traffic sign and over here as well. It's not perfect, but you know, and then that tracks, right? That That's a pretty good track. It's not perfect. It's a little bit, uh, I just put them on cards. Um, so that tracks, it's a hundred frames long, this shot, but suddenly your client says, your, your boss says, Hey, hey, buddy, the client, the client, uh, wants, uh, wants it to be sped up from one frame to 95 to one frame to 60. So you match that with a Kronos as you do. And suddenly you would have to start over or you would have to Kronos at the end of the shot, which I explained you don't want to do. Now, there is a very simple way to get around this. And I will show you. So first off, you want to have that Kronos that you retimed with. And then you have that camera that you already had from the camera track. which is this, there's a, yeah, okay, cool. And what you then want to do, so that is, 
the original camera is this camera which is you will keep that as the if you've had, had any uh, uh what's it called uh projection 3d projection you will keep that as the original camera because that's the original camera you projected it with basically but the camera that you want to film with has to be the retime camera so uh what you want to do you want to create a new camera with the same you know the same track but you don't want to link to output and then create a camera so you have that cam i've already done that here but let's just redo it and then there is one very simple line of code which is this it's curve open bracket overflow one dot timing frame two so the timing frame two is this box if you can see it on my screen it says timing frame two it's just uh i say a line of code it's really just an expression you really just want to add that to your expression copy it but in chances of, uh, instead of the oflow one you want to name that chronos one if you're you if you're if you're if your chronos is has the name chronos one if it has chronos three obviously you do chronos three then just copy it to everything that has animation in your camera so bada bing bada boom do that as well for the rotation and you can see the the numbers change there and if it has a zoom if it has a variable zoom you also want to do that on the focal length which this shot doesn't so now suddenly your camera that you film the projection with is retimed we can oh we'll set our arc point to 60 here and there we go it tracks that's pretty dope so uh this this works the same if you so like i said sometimes you you then want if there was cg in the shot you just want to re-render that camera for cg retime it send it back to them they will send you the new cg and uh so yeah here here we did the chronos before the shot it just it just makes it so that there's just less chance of like any weird nonsense artifacts going on on the cg on the projection mapping it's just a way to do it um yeah like i said you might get away with just just plopping it at the end here um if you yeah if you work for a small studio or the shot is not that complicated it might work but this is the way to do it if you want to do it quote unquote right and then obviously we got, we got our denoise that you want to do before the chronos because it messes with the noise and then we put on the grain hello okay we re re over the grain with our dust grain if you haven't seen that video why dust grain is the best grain check it out i made a video on that uh, you can find it on the linkedin and that's it simple as that you just kind of retime the camera with one one line of expression it's it's way easier than some of the methods that i've seen on the internet like uh, like like involving a, a gizmo or using a blink script or whatever it's just one line of expression now i hope this helped some of you no doubt a lot of you already knew this uh but you know even if it helps a few that'd be perfect okay thanks for watching see you next week